So some strategies to overcome some of the cha challenges to teaching uh, learning include really a capacity building within institutions like, like universities. We are trying to provide our instructors with a range of examples. We try and provide them with models that they can follow and we do that by making uh, the work of our instructors visible and the possibility of seeing what their peers are doing uh, perhaps within their discipline or perhaps across disciplines is something that our instructors really benefit from and appreciate. We also have a strong community of practice that we've developed and our instructors uh, meet regularly around themes or topic areas. Uh, we have a community of practice that's facilitated by instructors for instructors and they use that space to, to unpack some of the challenges that they have, to share ideas about what possible solutions might be considered and to also share what their research findings are and the evidence that they gather uh, about the effectiveness of different strategies that they're trying. Oftentimes teaching can be a very kind of isolating experience and things that happen in the classroom uh, don't kind of get uh, shared outside the classroom and a great uh, a great advantage and it can also be a scary th part of online teaching uh, is that uh, what's being done is a little bit more exposed and so that enables you to potentially show a colleague uh, a module that you've developed ahead of time versus requiring that individual to come in uh, and see you teaching in your class. And so there's opportunities there to share something and to get feedback on it. We may have training and experience in teaching and learning pedagogy for face-to-face -face or lecture, you know, different formats, but not so much online. And that's where uh, institutional resources, uh, individuals who have more training in these more recent uh, pedagogical tools, where they come in very handy. So you, you do get um, consultation and advice on course design that's really quite different than your traditional face-to-face -face, uh, class. Another way for addressing challenges is to, to look and try and in, inform what you're doing in the classroom with uh, what's worked well, what are best practices. I had to use different rapport building strategies in the online environment. So a lot of my get so I, I, I developed a lot of get acquainted activities, which I actually have taken from workshop icebreakers that I didn't think would work necessarily in a face to face class, but they work really well online, surprisingly. Um, so I do a lot of icebreaker stuff just to get acquainted. Um, and I do um, some um, disclosures that are that they're willing to make that I, I build on later. Um, I do I, I like to be recursive so that if they reveal early I come back to it later and pull it forward and connect it to the subject matter. Um, that has helped with some of the community building and some of those challenges. That challenge of engaging students um, then turns into an opportunity because in an online environment for example setting up a kind of a discussion forum of some sort, you can make sure that everyone participates because they're you know, graded on it or something. And you can, you can create a number of engagement situations. In the early going, I have to be engaging with them a lot. The first two or three or four, the first month of class, the engagement is almost nonstop. Um, so I mean, anyone who thinks you can just load it up there and let it go and, and it'll run itself. I have found, uh, no, <laughs> unless it's a, it's a very, unless it's the type of course that just requires individual sort of participation in a series of projects. Um, but the first month I'm heavily involved engaging with them. Um, I have office hours that are synchronous so that they can get a bit of a synchronous feel. I do podcasts so they can hear my voice. Um, um, we do avatars, we do proverbs, we sort of disclose things about ourselves, where we're from, that kind of thing. So I try to do the, the, um, those types of things early in the course to sort of build rapport because then I find it unfolds better in the, in the second and third month if they've got a feel for each other um, and not just the people in the class who they find some resonances with or it's not just between me and it's not like it's 30 students having individual relationships with me. One of the strategies for getting students to engage in 
virtual discussions with the teaching team are uh, online chat sessions, uh, especially if there's a reward for them and having TAs more involved in your classroom activities. Uh, I think that's an Im important way to, to deal with it. Um, I offer students a bonus point if they come to my office hours or if we arrange a Skype or FaceTime session. Uh, and in doing that, I'm trying to communicate to the students that getting to know them even a little bit is really important for me. To overcome challenges in an online environment really consists of ensuring the students that you are there even though they may not be able to see you at all times. You need to assure them that you are there, you're available. If they want a face-to-face -face meeting, that's just fine. But for the majority of students who will not come to office hours and prefer to communicate by uh, electronic means, that means that you have to be available via ele electronic means. And <clears throat> typically that means that you need to uh, be available after class time, so in the evenings and on weekends. I've tried doing an intro video so you talk, you know, talk to them about who I am so they get a sense because it's also weird for them and disorienting for them. For all they know, I'm a, a username on the system. Um, they don't really know me. They can look me up, I suppose, but um, I find it's easier to come across in your, or the video help to communicate kind of who I am and what I think about the course and what I'm trying to do. Some strategies for overcoming online challenges. Uh, I think one of the big ones is that because students have to be able to manage their time and be very self-directed and motivated, you have to try and give them as many signposts along the way to keep them informed as to what their progress is in the course. You have to be extremely organized so that they know exactly what's expected of them each week um, for every component of the course and you have to communicate that extremely clearly to them in different ways, in different parts uh, of the material, through the syllabus and online, through the discussion board, announcements, as many different ways as you can to try and make it extremely clear to them where are they now, where are they supposed to be, where are they going next.